Indeed. Keone's voice prickled with false sympathy. We will take your friends for our statue collection, then unleash the winds and bid you goodbye. You can watch the end of the world from... Well, the end of the world. Perhaps you can charm speak the fish and feed yourself with your silly cornucopia. You can pace the deck of this empty ship and watch our victory in the blade of your dagger. When Gaia has arisen and the world you knew is dead, then Zephyrs can come back and retrieve you for his bride. What will you do to stop us, Piper? A hero? Ha! You're a joke! Her words stung like sleet, mostly because Piper had had the same thoughts herself. What could she do? How could she save her friends with what she had? She came so close to snapping, flying at her enemies in a rage and getting herself killed. She looked at Keone's smug expression, and she realized the goddess was hoping for that. She wanted Piper to break. She wanted entertainment. Piper's spine turned to steel. She remembered the girls who used to make fun of her at the wilderness school. She remembered Drew, the cruel head counselor she had replaced in Aphrodite's cabin, and Medea, who had charmed Jason and Leo in Chicago, and Jessica, her dad's old assistant, who always treated her like a useless brat. All her life, Piper had been looked down upon, told she was useless. It has never been true, another voice whispered, a voice that sounded like her mother's. Each of them berated you because they feared you and envied you. So does Keone. Use that. Piper didn't feel like it, but she managed to laugh. She did it again, and the laughter came more easily. Soon she was doubled over, giggling and snorting. Calais joined in, until Zethys elbowed him. Keone's smile wavered. What? What is so funny? I have doomed you. Doomed me? Piper laughed again. Oh, God. Sorry. She took a shaky breath and tried to stop giggling. Oh, oh boy. Okay. You really think I'm powerless? You really think I'm useless? <laughs> Gods of Olympus, your brain must have been half freezer burn. You don't know my secret, do you? Kyoto's eyes narrowed. You have no secrets. You are lying. <laughs> okay. Whatever, Piper said. You go ahead. Take my friends. Leave me here useless, she snorted. Yeah, Guy will really be pleased with you. Snow swirled around the goddess. Zethys and Calais glanced at each other nervously. Sister, Zethys said, if she really has some secret. Pizza, Cal speculated. Hockey? Then we must know, Zethys continued. Keone obviously didn't buy it. Piper tried to keep a straight face but she made her eyes dance with mischief and humor. Go ahead, she dared. Call my bluff. What secrets? Keone demanded. Reveal it to us. Piper shrugged. <laughs> Suit yourself. She pointed casually towards the prow. Follow me, ice people. 